Okay, so exciting. This is what's been going on because I've been kind of, you know, MIA for like a month and a half or something crazy like that. Feels like it's been 10 years. Anyways, I have been working on some huge projects, two of which are on a website called Creative Fabrica. I have been making some classes for them. I would absolutely love if you went and checked those out. If you have no idea what Creative Fabrica is, it is a company that helps you along the way in your creative journey, whatever that may be. They have just launched their video classes and I am one of the instructors. I'm so, so excited. I had so much fun working on these classes and lessons. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click the link in my description box below. That would help me out a ton. And I would love for you to see those Creative Fabrica classes. Some other things that I've been working on, I have gotten the opportunity to be a part of several different festivals and that's super exciting. I'm so happy about this. Some of them are in the future and one of them is in the past already, but I've been making so, so, so many mugs and wine cups and cute little trinkety type things for those festivals. So I took a little break from the YouTube world, but I'm excited to tell you that I am back and so is Granny. So <laughs> here we go. Um, I guess I'll give you a little recap of um, last episode of Penny Pottery. I hear that Granny is making me a special little treat. So uh, <laughs> I guess uh, let's look at the footage from last time. Last, Last time, time on, on Pony Pottery. Pottery. Looking so handsome. Here's just a little refresher for you. We went ahead and trimmed those gorgeous little donuts that we threw on the wheel. And Granny got a little crazy. <laughs> After that craziness, we went ahead and piped on some slip to make a thicker glaze for our donuts. Now, we need to get to painting these. So, without further ado, here is Granny! Ew, I thank you all for that warm and kind introduction. Let's get started here. We are going to use some underglaze to cover our poured slip glaze and then we are going to put on some sprinkles. We are going to use these beautiful little application droppers. That will do just fine, thank you. Now, we have this mixing palette here, which is actually a baby food plate. We are going to make sure this is nice and smooth. Now, these beautiful little droppers come with a little tiny funnel. How cute is that? Yes, absolutely delicious. No lumps, no clumps. Here you can see just how small this needle is. Alright, make sure that you have a good seal and place the lid on top. Alright, my little chickens. <laughs> you clean off the bottom of these little donuts that we have made um, because some of the slip is falling down and stuck to the table. Seems like they need a good spray. Got my trusty water bottle. Of course we do need to have them quite wet so that we can poke holes. 
holes in the bottom. You see, the middle is hollow and this little sweet donut will actually act as an explosive device inside the kiln. You see, uh, there is air molecules trapped inside of this hollow piece of clay and as things heat up in the kiln, the water inside that is trapped will start boiling. Since there is no room for the water molecules that are now evaporating to get out, they have no place to go but to expand. When they expand, your piece explodes. Delightful. Continue spraying them so that they stay nice and workable. Now we need to look at this plate as if it is our best. Now we will not be firing this, that would be silly. Now let us begin stacking our donuts and see how we like things. Alright, I'm not sure how I'm liking this so far. Let us continue to experiment. These are quite large, so let's begin with our smaller donuts. Oh, I do like this. I do think this looks quite nice. Now, we need to go get a poker and poke some holes in here and start attaching. Alright, now that this is situated, I am going to label them. Now this sounds crazy, but I promise it will make sense in a second. Now that these are properly labelled, we're going to cover them and put them away for the moment. That way, once again, they stay quite workable. Now, let's mix up our base colours. We will need some pink and some teddy bear brown as well as some white. Yellow. All right, going to mix up some chocolate color because this teddy bear brown is quite brown. We need a dark chocolate. Need to grab our donuts and we are going to paint layer by layer. Now I'm going to keep some of these white and just put sprinkles on them. Some of them will be strawberry and some of them will be chocolate. Just painting some happy little drips. Oh, I love Bob Ross. Oh, he has such a delight. This is not the joy of painting. This is the joy of underglazing. Mm. All right, now that we have successfully painted some donuts, I am going to start on the strawberries.
While we wait for those to dry, let us grab some sprinkles. So I have to tell you, I hated the strawberry icing that I have glazed these with. Well, it's underglazed, but nonetheless, the uh, pink was not quite as smooth as I would like. So I've covered it with two other layers of this raspberry looking underglazed color. So beautiful. And ready to do something a little illegal yes i have an option one is to go ahead and place these exactly where they need to go then after they are connected and fired then i will glaze the entire thing or we can do something a little bit risky and glaze them now because I think that I want for the pink right here the donut color to be matte while this is uh, shiny which will be impossible to do once they're all stacked on the plate so let's get our clear glaze poke our holes in the bottom. I'm going to wait until the end to poke these holes so that I can put them in inconspicuous places. Now you should know that this grow here is actually the slip so when it is fired it will turn out white. And uh, you should also know that I am using a low fire glaze, which will melt at the same temperature as my bisque firing. And you remember that you need three layers of this clear over the only parts that you want shiny. Right, let us continue to do this for the rest of eternity. <sighs> Only joking, Gerald. Check in with you when I'm finished. All right there, darlings. Now, we have everything glazed. Here are my bottom five. So let's go ahead and start placing them. Now remember, there may be places that need to be hidden. So place them accordingly. Now, we need to poke some holes in the bottom. So, since these are lined up quite nicely, let's go ahead and poke some where it's not going to show. Smooth these holes out and that way it will not scratch whatever surface you put it on. Score and slip them as well. Alright, now that we have this in place, what 
I want to do is go in with some last minute glaze and put it at the point of construction. This will help for our piece to really be solidified. I just destroyed this chocolate donut. <laughs> I'm trying to poke all in the bottom and this went all the way through. Um, I have to use you. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Back to Granny Rochester. Oh, darlings, this is turning out a little bit on the horrid side. A little bit worried. Cool, 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 cool. Time to give our sweet Emily her present. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Please help me give a warm welcome to Granny. Hi, Granny. How are you? Oh, lovely. Well, I have your surprise here. I hope you do love them. Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Oh my lanta, guys. Guys, can you see this? That is so absolutely beautiful. Granny, I love this. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess that's it for this video and this little donut series. But if you would like to check out more stuff about Granny, check it out over there. If you'd like to see more punny potteries, check it out here. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys. I love it. <laughs>